Greetings everyone. So last five months, I made a video on the calibration of this board, and it's still doing pretty well. So as promised, I'm going to add a constant current load for this specific model. I only need five components for that. First is an LM358 op amp IC, a 47 kilo ohm resistor, a 50 kilo ohms potentiometer, a 1 ohm resistor, and lastly an N channel MOSFET. And this is an IRL Z44N. It is a logic level MOSFET, so you need to use this specific one. Logic level MOSFETs have low gate voltage threshold, so any logic level MOSFET will work here. I've already done a layout on a perf board. This is the schematic diagram, by the way. Lay everything out based on that schematic provided. As for the MOSFET, this MOSFET should be mounted on the heatsink because this guy will get very hot later. After several minutes, the circuit is done, but will it work? So I have my adjustable supply here, and I'll use the circuit as a load, obviously. As of now, it doesn't draw that much current because of the potentiometer value. But by wiring the potentiometer, we can draw a specific current based on what we want to draw. And it is also constant by looking at that current draw. I've set at 100 milliamps, and by increasing the voltage, the current draw doesn't change at all. So the constant current is working. Question is how to connect this circuit into our module. But it's pretty simple. So first, pin number 8 of the IC, which is this one should be connected right here as for the pin number 4 which is this one should be connected here for the positive load which is the MOSFET drain should be connected to the upper part of the module Avoid connecting them the other way around. As for the negative load, it should be connected to the lower part of the module. And these two here is for the battery. After starting the discharge, it doesn't draw current at first because of the potentiometer, but the circuit works. 
by wiring this potentiometer we can set a current that we need for the battery to discharge and it is constant this circuit can be adjusted from 0 up to 2.5 amps of current the battery voltage dropped a lot here because this battery is a low quality one but the circuit works now the main advantage of this modification is we, we can test small batteries like this because these batteries are not designed to discharge a lot of current and another thing is these two points here should be isolated because if they are connected we're basically bypassing this MOSFET here and it will show an error 5 on the module these two here will be connected automatically by this MOSFET once the discharge starts I hope you learned something from this video and if you do give it a like and we'll do something else for the next one see you there and thank you